Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Yarbrough here. Excited to share with you guys um, what occurred back on March the 23rd, Saturday. Man, what an absolute blessing to see um, the fruits of the labors of St. Mark as they appreciated Sister Yarbrough and I in our 30th anniversary setting. And um, I've been trying to set up a little video, uh, but I haven't been able to really do it like I want to do it. Uh, but we're going to, you know, open these up and share them with you. Man, this, this it, it's incredible. I'm just going to kind of let you guys see it. It's really a blessing. Uh, the 30th anniversary was really uh, unique. It was an awesome affair. Um, it was... Um, celebrated uh, 30 years in ministry um, started back let me see if I can bring this up here started back in um, uh, golly when did I got 30 years ago that's a long time out in San Angelo Texas right and we're um, you know the annual it, 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 it was a less formal process than it is now um, I had a, I had received a call from the Lord. I think it was a carnival that I was at. And um, at the carnival, you know, after the carnival, the Lord really woke me up and spoke to me directly. Look, um, and the way he depicted me standing at a seashore, um, I knew what he was asking. And I said, I don't want to do that. Lord, you can have that. I, I don't want no parts of that. And... Um, then as I, in this panoramic view, kind of turned around and looked at myself, you know, with my back uh, to the shore and my hands down in the water, the, the, the water turned red. And it really was a depiction of, uh, well, Robert, as I lifted my hands up out of the water, the blood was just falling off of my hands. He said, the blood will be on your hands. And I was... Um, I, I was blown away um, by that particular um, depiction, and um, I told the Lord, "I'm I'm going to do what you asked me to do. I'm going to um, indeed um, preach your gospel." And um, man, I, they were saying, "Hey, the annual conference is coming up. The annual conference is coming up. We need to take you to the annual conference." I had never been to an annual conference before. Went to the annual conference, stood before Bishop John Richard Bryant, examined his board and all of that, and was told, hey, go back, you're going to travel for a couple years, uh, for two years, and, and uh, after that you'll receive your first ordination if you attend the classes and you pass. Um, and then after two more years of travel, minimum two more years, you receive your uh, elder, itinerant elder um, ordination. And after my second year, Bishop Bryant assigned me to Sims Chapel, Amy Church in Stanford, Texas. And man, what a blessing. Oh, God. It, it, was, it was indeed a blessing. So, you know, we went from there. It was there five years, built a brand new church. Uh, congregation uh, ballooned from like eight people to like uh, about 80 people, um, not counting like 40 kids, right? Uh, Shelly was going absolutely bananas with what we know to be my ministry, which was introduced by Anthony Carraway. Uh, God bless you, man of God. And uh, he's a minister today um, and uh, preaching and and doing a lot of great things, married with children, and and um, we left there and went to an AME church called uh, Greater St. Paul AME Church in San Angelo, Texas, and that's where I was living. I was about like two and a half hours away, um, making $25 a week. I, I was like, I can't believe they're paying me to do this. Um, they actually raised my salary up to $125 a week and gave me $25 for Saturday, Friday night, 
and Saturday night so I could come up for Friday Night Live after the football games and um, and we had a massive young amount of young people every single color of the rainbow hanging out with us at our storefront went to Great St. Paul uh, changed the name of the church unofficially to Historic Greater St. Paul and um, Man, we got that church debt free. The church doubled in size from 75 people to 150 people. Uh, I think I was assigned to Baker's Chapel. Not Baker's Chapel. What was the name of this church? In um, Big Spring, Texas. <laughs> I think I was assigned there one month. And the pastors had some problems up at Sims Chapel. And I was told to go back there and get that church out of trouble so I was there for a few more years uh, before I, I moved to uh, to the East Coast and joined St. Matthew Amy Church under the tutelage of uh, the Reverend um, Mill, uh, Marion B. Robinson and uh, from there branched out um, I was really looking to start a church church an Amy Church in Roseville North Carolina and uh, presiding elder Larry Hinton came to me and said, hey, um, I know you want to start a new church, but I really would like for you uh, to consider going to um, um, to Smithfield, um, small church, and we're trying to grow that church, and we'd love for you to go there. And I was like, yeah, let's go take a look. I remember, uh, what's his name, Reverend... Um, is with me at St. Matthew, Reverend Willie Sanders said, I can take you to the church. I was like, really? It's, it's close? He said, about 35, 40 minutes away. And he came and picked me up, took me out there, showed me the church, man. And I was like, oh, my God. We drove around the church. I walked around it. It, it was an absolute blast. Um, and, um, man, I, I just remember vividly, you know, saying to the people that had there at Sims Chapel, do not ever give me a uh, an appreciation service. I, I don't want to be one of those pastors that's, you know, milking and bilking the church. And, I, I you know, people were planning all kind of crazy things in my head and in my wife's head about appreciations. And, um, but I would go to everybody. They had a spitting contest. I was their usher annual, you know, steward annual, trustee annual. Men's annual, women's annual, youth annual, mid-age annual, senior annual. I was there, and I'm giving $20, 30 50 every time I go. And after being in Sims Chapel, you know, my second year building a brand new church, doing a lot of great things in the community, really having a ball in ministry. All the ministers of the city and at their unofficial ministerial alliance, both black and white, came together and said, we want to throw an appreciation service for Pastor Yarbrough. And for Sissy Arbor. And um, they, they, they told me, they look, Pastor, we want you to preach. It's a citywide revival. We want you to come. There's going to be a lot of people there. And we want you to preach. Uh, would you come? Um, many of the young people have requested that you would preach. Um, and we're going to have a lot of you young people there tonight. But we want you to preach through, you know, three night revival. They get me there. I come in. And it's surprise. Um, we, um, we're here to really honor you, Pastor Yarbrough. I immediately, immediately start crying. And, um, what was so devastating to me was that, and I'm going to try to bring up, let me see if I can bring up, um, the chat. So the chat's up with me. Um, I immediately start, like, losing it. And let me see if I can overlay this. Um, chat. I don't know if it'll let me do it. Hold on. I, I don't think I can do it that way. Um, yep, there it is. All right, so I'm like, um, and uh, good evening to you, uh, Roslyn. Uh, good evening to you, Cynthia Curry. And uh, to any of you who are joining us online, let us know where you're calling in from. And, and we'll kind of go from there. But it was it was such a powerful experience. Uh, but it was it, I was crying not because tears of joy. I was crying because I was looking at my first church, and there these folks were. Um, they were in un, they were in utter belief, disbelief, 
at what they thought the impact was on me after me telling them do not try to give me any kind of appreciation service and um and I just I can't remember the preacher's name but he was a he was a heavy real heavy set uh preacher man he would sit um you know kind of along the lines of um um the reverend doctor um oh what is his name um reverend oh golly um the NAACP president, you guys help me with it. Um, he would sit down when he preached, and man, did he preach. And as he preached, I cried the more. And um, But I blessed the Lord for what um, what he shared and how it, it blessed me mightily. Uh, but bless the God, I want to share with you guys. It doesn't seem like a lot of people are making comments, so I'm going to pull this off. Um, but I thought it was really remarkable what was being shown. So want to show you guys uh, some of the, the decorations and the pictures that we received. The Don Johnson uh, was our photographer, professional photographer, and he's the one that was sharing these awesome, awesome um, pictures that you guys are going to see here. Um, but this is kind of like the layout of everything. Let me kind of shrink myself down so you guys can see the fullness of this picture. Oh my God! It was it was incredible. The decorations were done um, by um, events and designs by Wanda. Oh my God! Listen, it, it, it was beautiful. So let me see if I can blow it up a little bit more. I think that's as big as it'll get. But um, the colors were red and um, and gold and and black. Um, and let me see if I can, yeah, let me go back to what I just had. Uh, this is, um, this is kind of like the setup. See the covers? Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to cry again. Um, it was just so beautifully decorated. Uh, the array of, um, the backdrop of the head table that we had, um, was just really incredible. Um, it was, I was going to cut on my conference call line, but you, you can't really, can't really see um, on my conference call line. So then it was, um, here's another picture of, of a vantage point. And again, this was the head table. We had our committee up at this table here uh, in, in, in the front portion. And then there was tables here, and I think there was some tables behind here uh, as well. But it was that black gold and red i didn't think it would work uh when i heard those are going to be the colors and i was just like oh my god that's like so crazy uh but it came out so nice um here's um here was the the red carpet uh entrance so uh this was out at the uh american legion um and if you're joining in please let me know that you're joining in um, if you had a chance to go, Amen. Please let me know that you were you were there. Uh, but we came in this this red carpeted entrance. Um, everybody kind of came in this way, and um, you know people put you into wherever your respective seats were. But it was pretty. It was pretty incredible. Um, kind of going on. Uh, this was a shot from the opposite end. So. You know, this is the back door here of that venue. It's the American Legion building out in, uh, in, in Rocky Mount. And, man, that thing, oh, God, I, I don't even think the pictures are doing it justice. Uh, the beautiful decorations done uh, in that place. Um, this is another shot. Like, uh, that was like the photo area uh, that was put up for, for pictures. And again, some um, um, seating up front, you know, for uh, our committee um, on both sides um, and some of the officers uh, of the church as well. Um, that, that looks almost edible. Uh, but there's actually no, <laughs> there's actually no food out there uh, just yet. But uh, good evening to you, uh, Sister Cynthia Curry. You were absolutely beautiful that night. 
thank God for you and thank you for for coming and being there and taking time out of your schedule to be there as well. This is another shot, um, kind of almost where our caterer was. And again, these two sets of tables up here is where we, we had the committee and some of our some of our seniors. Uh, Sister Rosalind, God bless you. Thank you as well uh, for hanging out with us that night. You guys did a tremendous job. And I remember saying to Sister uh, Wanda, hey, she said, look, Pastor, I really do want to do this for you. I really want to bless you guys, um, not charge you anything, but I really want to bless you guys with this as a gift to you. And we were trying to do it like in the September time frame, September, October time frame, which would have corresponded when you know, my first ordination occurred. I think it was actually my ordination was in August. Um, but uh, we we're, weren't able to do it. Amen. Hey, Sister Paul, thank you for joining as well. It was an incredible night. It was absolutely beautiful. And uh, thank you for coming and blessing us in song. And I can't wait for you to see some of these pictures uh, and, and share with you guys and um, that, we, that we're going to be making available uh, to folks. Um, this is like the, uh, again, the, uh, the committee table, if you will. Some of my officers here on the other side. But you can just see the um, the cranberry color, man. And let me just make this larger so you guys can actually see it um, uh, as 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 big as you can. Um, and then this picture, and we began to see some of the pictures um, as they were beginning to. Um, oh, I don't want to go that way. Hold on a second. Hold on. Um, as we began to see these wonderful pictures, this is, um, this is my, uh, nephew Artie. Uh, God bless you, man. Thank you for being there. I said, look, we got to get all these brothers in these wonderful tuxedo outfits together to take a picture. Um, he had the cranberry one and, and Antoine, uh, whose family joined the church this past year. He was so James Bond like. I mean, he scooped us up, and um, in this wonderful um, Ford Expedition, you know, 2024, and uh, and that's uh, John Kahn, uh Marsha's husband, and uh, they moved here from Atlantic City, of uh, Atlantic City, from New Jersey, and uh, they were there too. I mean, it was it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty cool um, seeing them there. And there's John, obviously, and me hanging out. John, John was feeling a little bit under the weather. They just got back here uh, from, um, let me see if I can fix this. I, I done made it way too big uh, from that standpoint. But, uh, John, pray that you're feeling better, brother. Uh, I know that you uh, have been under the weather after coming back, you know, from visiting with Disney with your wife and your son. Uh, but thank you for being there, brother. We had a great time. John is a lawyer and we corporate lawyer, and I bless the Lord for him. Uh, and thank God for him being there that day. Uh, but yeah, yeah, those, those these are great pictures. Um, from that standpoint, y'all see John smiling. Here's um, this was uh, my wife and I. Obviously, uh, this is um, this is Dallas. This is Shanice's um. Uh, daughter Shanice and um, and brother Bowden, Amen's daughter, and then this is my um, my nephew uh, Shelly and I's nephew uh, Jameer's kids, uh, and uh, man, oh my God, they they were oh my God, these girls were adorable, and they came in from actually um, Virginia uh, to be there with us, so. We we had we had a great time. Oh my God! I mean, just a great. Day. Look at her. She ain't taking her eyes off that camera. Look at her. <laughs> we finally got one with with her eyes open. Just beautiful girls. Um, oh Beverly, God bless you, and thank you for being there as well. Uh, Beverly, God bless. We're still praying for you and all that you're going through with your family. Love you to life, and thank God for y'all coming. Look at my wife's curly hair. My God, y'all were just glowing that night. And I, I'm, I'm smiling so hard, I think I'm about to break my teeth. Uh, 
<laughs> but it it was a great night. People came, and you know, Beverly's the Delta. But that beautiful cranberry that she has on was beautiful. Had to get in there, and this is Jameer. The, the one or two of those girls were his daughters, um, and uh, his wife wasn't able to make it. But they drove away from Virginia. Artie was there, and, and man, we had a great time. I, I was just sucking it all up. Uh, it, it was really cool. So, obviously, I know KJ. This is Rashika's son. Uh, and he was looking so... <laughs> he was looking so serious uh, during this that it was absolutely blowing me away. I mean, his face, he was just like... Like, I'm not smiling. I'm serious. This is what I do. You know, Pastor, I don't know if you understand who I am right now, but, you know, I, I, I'm that dude. I, I'm definitely that dude. And, man, he was, he was, he was looking good, too. So I was like, all right, I, I can be serious, too. I can, I can be serious. And then I was trying to get him to laugh or something. And he was like, no, nah, I ain't laughing. I'm still not looking at you, Pastor, but I'm looking at this camera. I, I know what my best side is. I mean, these young people really were blessed. Okay, let's let's put the fingers up. Let's put the deuces up. <laughs> this was classic. The bow tie bandits are in the building, and we're taking over the shop. So definitely, that was that was such a that was such a great moment uh, with uh, with KJ Kanstan. Uh, oh, bless the Lord for this woman of God. I don't know if y'all remember, but when we invited um, the band from Rocky Mount High to come to the church, and I've always tried to do that. I love band music. I don't know about anybody else on the line that just loves band style music. And um, so when he brought the band, Brother Man brought his brought the band. He's the director of the band, and man, they put together like five or six songs. And incorporated that into the worship experience. And um, her son played this trombone. And I'm talking, brruh, 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 brruh. that boy absolutely went bananas. And, um, and um, but, you know, I called her. She she attends Bishop Shelton's church. And uh, she said, Pastor, I'll be there. I'll, I'm coming. And um, I was blessed the Lord for having her there. And um, woman of God, I, I still got brother Kevin's going to get with you and let you know when you do your party for your son that he's got some audiovisual stuff that he can help you out with uh, from that standpoint. But bless the Lord for her, and we thank God for her coming and bless God for her. Um, here's where we started sharing some, some moments at the end. Um, and these are not in any particular order. Uh, but, uh, man, listen, I was... It was definitely the um, the tear in the eye and the catch in the throat moment. Uh, my daughter was, they, they were supposed to roast me. <laughs> they were supposed to roast me. And um, in this moment, they were like, I, I was like, look, I'm, let me let me get on this mic and, and shut this thing down. But it was, it was a really great moment. And um, we just had a blast with it. But that's my daughter, Maya. And she... Oh my God, she she looked absolutely amazing that night. Uh, Shelly got a chance to share as well, and you can see I'm I'm trying not to be too serious without losing um, losing it. But I, I told the people, I told the staff, uh, and the committee, I said y'all need to pick a place a little less dusty because a lot of dust was floating around and getting in my eyes, and that's that's not cool. So I told them they they need to do something about that. Maya was absolutely amazing in sharing, you know, her thoughts about the ministry. Uh, I mean, she was born into this ministry, you know, um, after we started. And taking her, obviously, to our first church, um, you know, look, she was born in 91, what was Lauren Bible born? In 94, I think. And we started the ministry, uh, we got married in 94. Maya was born in 98, um, and we started the ministry in like 94, 95. So, you know, she was an absolute baby, an infant. I just remember her as a baby, you know, standing up on the pews and just kind of, you know, doing the mind moves that Shelly was showing. 
as an infant standing up on the pew and I'm just holding her, you know, making sure she don't fall as she's watching the girls and the ladies dance. It, it was a, an amazing moment. I don't know where that picture is, but um, you can see as well um, some of the amazing pictures that were uh, in the background um, as well here. Um, as you see, uh, that were on the video screen. So we provided them pictures, and they did a whole collage of that. But there's Lauren and uh, Crystal, Shelley's uh, sister, and um, and and Maya. It's, it's just interesting that that Don caught that picture just at the right time. Um, there she is again, my my future uh, therapist, doctor, uh, doctor doctor Maya. I'm looking forward to her. Uh, attaining that degree. I, I'm blessed. Truly blessed. Uh, she did a, a tremendous job. She had them laughing. Had, we really just had a good time with her on that mic. Um, and um, I know some people are asking, and let me just kind of jump up here, but some people are asking, Pastor, are we going to be able to get copies of this? We're, we're, we're making uh, two style books, an 8 by 8 book or a 10 by 10 book. And uh, we're going to make those available to purchase because obviously this a this it'll be a colored book and if you want to get a souvenir book and um, all of this is going to the um, to the photographer uh, to support him and his business. Uh, but if you want to get a a, a mem you know I, I didn't put together a form or order form but we'll get to that sometime here uh, this week. But I wanted to just share these pictures with you. But I think they. Um, it's hundred and forty dollars for the ten by ten book, and then the eight by eight book will be like a hundred dollars or something. So if you're interested in that, please let me know, and uh, we'll get that information to you. Uh, look at this. This picture is classic, classic Maya, classic Dad, um, talking. <laughs> Can you imagine uh, the words that are coming out of her mouth right now? I know y'all are cracking up. In the background, this girl is hilarious, and mom's just taking it all, all in, trying not to. But I see your little fingernails done there, Maya. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, there she is, my little sleepy-eyed baby. She wouldn't appreciate if I blew that picture up. But this one, oh, God. Um, I love that. Uh, and um, can't wait to share these with her. You can saw some of the pictures I posted when we were leaving the hotel, and they came to pick us up. And to take us over. Um, if you guys are enjoying these pictures, let me know. Tell me if this is helping you or this is blessing you like it's blessing me. But I, I just got a hold of them and I really did want to share with you guys um, the, the pictures once I got them. Uh, here's um, Delia and, um, and Rometta, our finance team, our stewards, uh, making a presentation uh, to Wanda. Uh, uh, as a token of their appreciation for her and the tremendous job that she's done, and 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 I can't say enough about this lady, and I'll I'll tell you a little bit more about her uh, a little bit later. Um, but uh, there's uh, Sister Darlene, God bless you, as well as Sister Pat, and there's some other pictures here, but bear with me as we begin to to walk through them. So as they were making these presentations, there's Sister uh, Rosalind as well. And Sister Pat, nobody's uh, looking like they've taken off their shoes just yet. <laughs> so, so bless the Lord. Wanda um, obviously is a is meticulous and is um, a perfectionist uh, when it comes to events and decorations that I cannot explain to you enough. You know, in your next event, if you want it to be, you know, just absolutely uh, a blessing, please contact um, Events and Designs by Wanda. Um, she is a fanatic with this, guys. And, and I always say to people, people say, you know what, I, I'm not a perfectionist. I can't get along with people who are perfectionists. Uh, but I tell you what, if you were getting some brain surgery done and you wanted... Um, you know, they, they wanted to be able to mark out where they're going to make the incisions and where the tape should be. You, you would want that brain surgeon to be an absolute perfectionist. 
if you had somebody that was going to be flying a plane, you know, in some of the worst weather, but you were trying to get home, and, and, and they, they had a checklist that they had to go through, and they had to check it twice, and then confirm that it had been checked, believe me, you're going to want somebody who is uh, a perfectionist. Uh, and she is indeed that. And bless the Lord, she she did an incredible job. And many of the ladies that you see dressed so beautifully now were a part of that committee helping her to, to do all these these kind of decorations. So uh, they did a tremendous job. I love this outfit on you, Rosalind. Good gracious girl. That bronze and black was just off the chain. Love this shirt that's on Sister Rometta and this uh, African print that Delia had on. Just beautiful, guys. Y'all did great. Uh, here's a kind of a shot of the head table. You'll see that a little bit more. But Wanda not only decorated, but she also played. And let me kind of make this bigger again. She also played that wonderful one. And you'll see some of those pictures there. I think Delia's singing right there. Maybe, maybe Delia's singing right there. Um, I think that's Brother Green and Brother Gant there in the back. That's my my beautiful Aunt Gloria Jean who came in from Atlantic City. Oh my God, they, they blew me away. They were staying at the hotel with us. Um, and you saw that. This is, this is the committee, guys. They did a tremendous job pulling this all together and we surely thank the Lord for them. There's Roz. Uh, I didn't do a runway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but Rosalind looking absolutely gorgeous in this bronze, um, you know, pattern dress. Uh, really, really did a nice job. Looked great. Um, thank you for being there and doing what you do. Here's one of my favorite people on the planet, uh, Yasmin Monroe. Uh, I call her uh, a, a young people magnet. Um, one of my first how do I say, daughters in ministry here in North Carolina as she uh, pursued her ministry in evangelism. And we bless the Lord for her. She was there and she shared. She looked absolutely gorgeous as well. And we bless the Lord for her and thank her for being a part of it. She's actually a relative of Sister um, Sister Wanda and uh, helped out with the decorations as, as well. Uh, there's a picture of my aunt, not flattering there, but... And she is short, but that's not how short she is. She's actually sitting down from that particular standpoint. Uh, but I, man, I did so much clapping that day. I, I don't know what was going on, but it was it was a pretty incredible day. Hold on. Let me see if I can back this down to to the levels it's supposed to be. Um, but we, I, man, I, I was up clapping the whole time. It was just an incredible, incredible night. Oh, man, this woman right here uh, was our host and our facilitator for the for the evening, Capricia. God bless you. And you wearing that red, girl. Uh, we uh, we kind of grew up together there at St. Matthew and uh, just love her family um, and what they did. Oh, my God, Sister Juanita, you're right. It was a great affair. Thank you for being there. Amen as well. Uh, Capricia, she has one of those voices, y'all, that just it permeates the room <laughs> uh, when she talks. And I bless the Lord for her. One of the other great orators, um, Sister um, from um, Sister Blackman, was there from St. Uh, Mark Smithfield. And, uh, oh, my God, I didn't get a chance to... Um, to uh, I, I know I have some I truly have, should have some pictures of her, but she's got an orator's voice as well. I just love to hear her say uh, the mark uh, before the mark on the mount came. We the Saint Mark Saint Mark and Smithfield was the mark, amen. And uh, we bless the Lord, amen for that. Uh, this is Rometta making comments as well, and um, man, it, it was just a great, great. Um, show what we got here hey this is my cousin um that came up from atlantic city as well here's my cousin leslie here's my big cousin carla we'll see some pictures of them later uh, but his aunt is as well as here she's from rocky mount 
one of the first people I met in Rocky Mount that was not a member, amen, of the church. But uh, this is a great shot of Wanda doing her thing on that, um, uh, what is it, a clarinet. Oh, my God. Look at Shelly and Maya just, just bringing it in. Um, Sister Adelia's uh, mother. Uh, Sister Lloyd was there as well. Oh man, it was it was it was incredible. Listen, if y'all got some questions, please let me know. Uh, but um, she she blew that horn, y'all. Oh my God! And I've asked her, uh, Sister uh, Pat, if you're on the line, I asked her to come back and to share uh, during our Women's Day celebration. Oh my God! She was like, Pastor, I already got you locked in, and I'll be there. Oh man, I can't wait to. To share that information with you guys as well, but she 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 did that thing. Oh, she did that thing. Oh, it was it was incredible. Man, we had some great friends there. You're gonna see some more pictures of them uh, as well. Uh, but she walked in. She had a couple of different interests of that uh, plane. It, it was incredible. A uh, good friend and brother from Camden, New Jersey, him and his wife who are ministers now in Durham, North Carolina. They were there as well. Uh, I see your brother Andrew back there as well, Sister Pat, amen, Sister Betty, and Sister Paula Waters. I think that's Kevin over here on the left. But uh, bless the Lord, man, they, they, they did that thing. Um, oh boy, what am I doing? Sorry about this guy. Just want y'all to be able to zoom in on that shot. Um, and that's when she was kind of coming, I was going to say parading in, uh, that it just really captured everything. Oh, man. Sister Margaret Owens, I, I, I got another picture of her later. I'll tell you who she is and how uh, we were blessed by her. That's her taking pictures of her coming down the aisle uh, as well. And uh, here's Brother, um, one of our newest members, um, Brother Richardson. We bless the Lord for him. And there's Brother Kevin back there working the audio visual. Oh, y'all can't see that. It's not as big as I want it to be. Hold on a second. I'm hitting the wrong buttons to make it any bigger. But but that that's uh that's Wanda. Oh my God. And boy did is she a talent on that when it comes to this. Surely was blessed by Beverly uh coming and singing as well and sharing words. Been so close to Beverly when I first came, you know, uh, Beverly had just recently um, left St. Mark and moved to another church. But we've always maintained such a relationship. Her mother, when her mother passed, when her grandson passed, when her son um, um, uh, was coming home from prison, all of those events, I just, you know, I was just like a magnet to her in terms of just wanting to help her and minister to her and to her family during that moment. And she sang Good God Almighty. Can I make another announcement? Sister Beverly Riley is going to be at our Women's Day as well. She's going to be blessing us tremendously in song, and we're looking forward to this wonderful psalmist and, and, and her singing, which is incredible. And we bless the Lord for her. There's my beautiful Aunt Gloria Jean. Y'all don't have names like that anymore. Um, God, I have maybe about 20 minutes left, and I don't know how far along I am. I'm at maybe picture 452 out of 514, and there'll be more than that. Uh, I'm sure that um, that Don is continuing to uh, address. Look, at you looking good, Beverly. I love it. Look at them earrings. Good gracious, a lot. Love it to life. Love you to life. Singing to the glories of God. We bless the Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm going to steal that picture. I'm probably going to use that one for our program. <laughs> and uh, let people know. I love that podium, uh, St. Mark. I said I love that podium. Y'all see that podium right there? Let me see if I can go back. I love that podium right there. That's a beautiful podium. Uh, I wish I had one of those. Um, just saying. Uh, bless the Lord. Uh, and uh, look at Capriccio back there maintaining now. Uh, direction this is margaret owens oh my god this woman when i first um you know pastors always talked about 
the importance of doing collaborations um, early in my ministry, partnering with people and really helping people who were uh, just coming along in whatever field they were in, whether they were musicians, comedians, singers. And this lady um, right here um, was a up and coming comedian and she would dress as an older woman um, and, and she still does that character. Um, she just recently had shaved her head and, um, but bless the Lord for her. She was hilarious. So I would have her host programs. I would have her come and do comedy bits. So, um, all, you know, you, you guys have seen it at St. Mark when we even brought in, I think Sister Rashika recommended the guy we brought in as a comedian. Man, we would have a blast and have them incorporated into our worship experiences, particularly these Christian comedians. And she is one um, that started off, and we have maintained the relationship since the beginning. Uh. Mm, excuse me, it's been a long, long day, but I did want to share these with you. Oh my gosh, you made a joke. <laughs> and I tell you, girl, you were wearing that dress. My favorite colors are black and gold. Obviously, fraternal colors for Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And uh, she made a joke. She had us all in there crying, laughing, tears coming out of her eyes. Uh, <laughs> you see some of the pictures from yesteryear. Um... There, there's me and Maya down there in the... Oh, let me see if y'all may not be able to see it. But that's me and Maya down here. Um, I think we were at a hospital visiting in Smithfield. Um, and um, she was absolutely pooped out. Following Dad all around as I was going out to minister during those times. Um, but what else we got? Yes, yes, yes. Rhonda uh, and uh, the Hattons. Amen. Bless the Lord. They're ministers there in Durham, North Carolina. And they moved here from um, from Camden, which is my wife's hometown. And um, you're talking about a preaching prowess. And uh, I believe she's in the Presbyterian, uh, ordained in the Presbyterian Church. And this man of God, uh, she's a, um, I believe he's a bishop. He, she's an apostle. Um apostolic ministry outreach they brought their pastor uh of their church with them as they continue to reach out and um as you need a preaching woman of god there she is and look at that outfit that she has on oh my god i told her look when you finish with that give it to your boy uh hook me up for sure uh, and he's out there being her absolute biggest cheerleader <laughs> But the, the pattern that was on that outfit, oh my God, absolutely fell in love with that. Rhonda, you were looking regal, regal. And they always, but they always dressed to the nines, the both of them, uh, the Hattons. So we bless the Lord. I know that uh, brother um, Jerry Higgs was there and he's been supporting them as, as well in, in music ministry. So we bless the Lord. Amen for that. Let's see what else I got here. Yeah, they, they were carrying on. She said, I can't sing, but she sure enough can preach. <laughs> but you can sing too, girl. You did a great job, and we love your remarks. And they were heartfelt, and we bless the Lord for for both of you. Um, <laughs> this little brother, uh, I'm blown away. Rometta's grandson, KJ. He got up there. He, he I think he was one of the first people that shared comments uh, during the actual event. And uh, he came up later, sang happy birthday to me because it was the 23rd. My birthday was the 21st. So this was kind of in conjunction birthday as well as 30th year ministry celebration. And man, he sang like happy birthday, whatever the new version is. I mean, the boy sang the thing. Man, I was extremely proud of him and absolutely blown away. And there's Sister Break. Um, my God, look at, look at the woman of God. She's like, I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all better come on up in here. And the brilliance of this, this hat. Oh my God. And I love a woman in a hat. Uh, was, was great. And she shared, oh my God, that's, that's a woman of preaching prowess as well. And we thank God for her ministry, um, um, as well. Look at it. She's just a, <laughs> she's just a character. 
You blessed the Lord. It's talking about me, I guess. Oh, babe, I'm pointing at you now. You pointing at me. So, <laughs> bless the Lord for her. And uh, there she is. I mean, it's almost like she know I'm in the picture. Um, so, uh, she, she is hilarious. God bless her. Part of our Sunday school, part of our online ministry and teaching. Um, but she is exhorter Linda Brake. God bless you. And thank you for being there, uh, Mother. This lady right here, Lord have mercy, and her wonderful husband, Jeff, uh, Sister Paula Waters. I know her, and let me reduce this back down. I know her as the little one. Uh, she was on the line earlier. I'm not sure if she still is. Uh, but this, listen, sister, sis, um, this bronze dress was off the chain. It, it was incredible. You 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 were absolutely fabulous in that dress, and uh, she sang to the glory of God. I I, I think the dress, your, your skin color is bronze. Everything's bronze. Your hair is bronze. Praise the Lord. <laughs> she sang and bless the Lord, Paula. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of our Women's Day celebration. Thank you first of all for just being there and being just your absolute fabulous self. Uh, we love you to life, and thank you and your husband, Jeff. Um, I mean, y'all are a blessing to me. Every time, everything we've ever asked of me, I've asked of you. You've helped me and supported me all along the way, and we just thank God. You have to hear, men and, men and women of God, y'all need to hear this woman's testimony and what she has been through and what the Lord has brought her through. But I tell you, you couldn't have had a, uh, a better um, brother in Brother Jeff Marrying her and taking care of her um, as she as she should be as a woman of God. Oh, my God. We bless the Lord. We're looking forward to you singing and blessing us in a major way. Uh, coming up on April the 28th, the last Sunday of this month. And we're doing that at 3 o'clock, right? So we're asking you to come back. We'll have two services. We have an 11 o'clock service. And we're going to be having our, um, our, our uh, afternoon service as well. But we bless the Lord for the woman of God. And look at those fingernails. Come on, sis. Glory to God. Um, running out of, oh, I don't know if I'm running out of um, pictures here. I still got quite a few left. But yes, yeah, she sang. And she puts her heart and her soul into it. And has her own album. Guys, if you guys want a copy of this album, you want to buy the album, we have copies. I think we gave them out. I think I gave out all the ones I have. I need to buy another 10 from her, give those out her single. Uh, but bless the Lord. Um, what what a woman of God. And we thank the Lord for her and what she does. And you talking about some line dancing now. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't know. When we had our... Um, our, our, our rootin' tootin' uh, cowboy affair, this woman of God was really, really awesome as, as a part of that and uh, helped us along with many others and doing some of the line dances that was there and uh, she, she was so helpful. Uh, look at these two here. Um, they they uh, came up and shared. I love the young people at the Mark on the Mount and um, whoo. Some of the first that actually spoke uh, during that particular day, and I was blown away by it. Um, this, this is this beautiful daughter. I got a chance to escort her, uh, Dominique's daughter. Um, got a chance to escort her during the um, Sigma Gamma Rho Cotillion. Ooh, what a special moment! Let me go on before I start crying. Listen, oh my God! Let me open up the picture so y'all can see this. This is Wanda. Michael at her absolute best. I don't know if y'all can see what's happening here, but this is one of the first um, baptisms that we did at St. Mark. And somebody captured this picture. Hand raised, young person in my left hand, amen, and um, in the baptismal pool there at the Mark on the Mount. Matter of fact, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, we got four candidates. And a potential fifth one, but four candidates, three, and a potential fourth one. That'll be coming to baptize. And oh man, I gotta, oh man, I I, I gotta find out. Um, hey stewards, I need an answer back from you guys as well. So I need to help me out. Um, 
<laughs> if y'all 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 know what I'm talking about. But bless the Lord, God is extremely good. Um, yes, yes, Alicia, I can do that. Yep, somebody's asking me to participate on this wonderful program. Oh my God, I was blown away. Look at Maya. Look at Shelly. Look at Aunt Gloria Jane. I think this is when um, Wanda was playing that horn with full fervor. Amen. As she came down the aisle, I, it, it was an incredible, incredible moment. Um, oh God, Jesus! I, it, it was, it was incredible. I don't know if I was trying to take a picture or uh, just just clapping. She, Wanda, you are you are something else, girl. Something else. You you bless thy souls. My beautiful aunt, a beautiful colored dress, I mean shirt. Uh, we bless the Lord for her. But man, I was elated, uh, to say the least. Um, as we kind of wind down tonight, I didn't want to do more than an hour. Um, I still got 80 some odd pictures or so left. I'm going to try to pick it up with a little bit more speed. But she, she did her, she did her thing. Amen. When it comes to playing that horn. And um, we're looking forward to her doing that again. As she serenaded Shelly and, and the, the entire um, head table. This is a nice venue as well over there in American Re uh, the American Legion building. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, some more of the same as well. Brother David in the background. Yeah, brother uh, Kevin, that's her husband in the background. Yeah. And, you know, they're not in any particular order, guys. But we do want to make sure if, again, you want to have get a copy of this wonderful book, please let us know and we'll, we'll make it happen. This is uh, Father and Son, Ant Antoine and Brother Andrew uh, Dalberry. Um, and uh, this is uh, Pastor Yarbrough. And uh, tall, dark, and handsome brothers. Amen. Praise God. I'm tall too. Don't be trying to, don't be trying to make me look crazy. Amen. He looked like James Bond right there. Go on, Antoine, with your good looking self, brother. Looking good, doctor. I mean, you're looking good, son. You're looking good. This is um that uh, Dalberry Sproul family uh, that joined the church just just a while ago. You know, with the with first family here, that's Sister Pat, Andrew, and that's his, their son, Antoine. But we bless the Lord for him. Uh, man, what a what a what a tremendous, tremendous addition to St. Mark, and we bless the Lord for them, and uh, what they have done to the household of faith. Oh, this was our D9 picture. Come on, man, y'all got to see this. This was our uh, our D9 picture. Oh my God, I love this picture. Um, the Hattons are Zetas. Um, she's a Zeta. He's a Sigma. You have uh, my frat brother Jeff. Um, you got Tay in the back. Uh, a Q. You got Anita. Uh, a Delta. You have uh, brother Kevin. A Kappa. Phi Nu Pi. Another Delta and uh, sister Beverly. Where's my daughter? Oh, there she is, right smack dab in the middle. The AKAs is right up front. You got um, one of our newest, I'm going to claim you, Sister Renee. One of our newest members has been attending. Uh, hasn't quite joined, but I'm claiming you. Sister Renee Hannah and her mother. Oh, this is my girlfriend, y'all. Clara Steen Stewart. Met her, fell in love with her uh, at St. Matthew Amy Church in Raleigh. And this is Sister Ledbetter, another person who has been attending, hasn't quite joined yet, but bless the Lord. Them AKAs got their pinkies up, and I'm blessing the Lord for them. They, oh, that was our D9. Some of y'all left before I could get y'all into that picture, but, but bless God for you. That's one of my favorite, favorite pictures, um, and I'm acting crazy right there. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what a tremendous, but look at you. Oh, I need, I can see your face now. Oh, bless the Lord. That was a great picture. Uh, and I asked all the ministers to come up. Here's Minister Darlene and Minister Marsha, and she's been part of our, you know, education conferences, Christian education conferences. we got 
uh, Minister Shanice. This is the pastor uh, of the church there, uh, what apostle and, and for, for bishop uh, there. And, uh, and then Minister uh, Elise, who also is over our, our director of Christian education as well as over our audio vigil. And uh, exhort a break as well. And we missed a few ministers that uh, left before we could grab a hold of them. And here's uh, Shanice. Oh, God bless you, woman of God. And uh, a member of the church. Lives in actually in Greensboro. Bless the Lord. Comes down, you know, once or twice a month to be a part of our worship service. Particularly as it pertains to our young people and teaching them online. Um, and there's Maya joining us as well. What a what a what a great picture. Yes indeed. And there's the AKAs. Uh again, Sister Um uh, Renee, Sister Clarestine Stewart, love you to life, mother. Uh, my daughter Maya, who pledged several years ago, and then I wish Lauren was there, right? I wish Lauren was there. But Sister Ledbetter, uh, who is um who was a Stark AME, I mean Stark AME Stark. United Methodist, but also uh, and a wonderful, beautiful AKA, and they look great. Y'all were looking awesome. I was like, "Look, I got to get in here, and, uh, and 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 make sure that I'm in the picture with y'all as well." So bless the Lord. That was a great picture, and getting a chance to hang out with them. There she is, my mother, it's Mr. Clarestine Stewart. Love her to life. That was a pleasure having you there, and thank you for surprising me. And, and showing up uh, that day. Oh man, these these pictures are incredible. Um, but Clarestine Stewart, I don't know Renee if you're on the line at all. Um, as you with you with Yasmin uh, Monroe and, and your mom and dad, I know we missed having them there. Uh, we didn't get a chance. They were busy at something else on their schedule. But I would have loved for them to have been there with you as well. And again, I talk, call her my youth magnet. Uh, but bless the Lord for you, yeah. Amen, Miss Dennis and Darlene. Bless the Lord for you. Been an absolute blessing, particularly in our food ministry and teaching ministry. Um, becoming a member of St. Mark. Um, but you, girl, you're wearing that red. Just as pretty as could be. We bless the Lord for you. Wish your husband could have been there. I know he's working a lot of jobs, working a lot of hours. But bless the Lord. Look here. Um... This uh, sister right here, uh, this is, I, I call her my aunt, and, I'm my, and then people I grew up with. This is Miss Carlos. She just recently was married. But if y'all remember the man who raised his hand in the Olympics and put his fist up, I think he had on the left glove. He came in third place. During the Olympics in the 60s, that is her brother. That is her actual blood brother. I've been trying to get him to St. Mark for a minute. We're going to get him there one time. But she looked absolutely stunning. And she doesn't like taking pictures, but she has looked absolutely stunning. Love you, Auntie. Uh, you looked absolutely great. Great. And thank you for coming and being a part of the situation. I was trying to stand a little taller. We're there with Brother Antoine. Um, uh, I mean, Brother Andrew. Hey man, he he he, he, he all a six five or six six. So I was trying to stand a little bit taller. There's my AKA sweeties. Hey man, sister Ledbetter and, and Maya, listen, got their pinkies up. Come on now, that's what I'm talking about. And hey man, sister Ledbetter, thank you for being there. You got all my favorite colors, uh, and that black and gold, and with that red uh, um, flower. Here she is with Shelly, um, as well. Oh my God, they. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I love dressing up. <laughs> this, this is what I wore to work today. Got my little purple shirt on. Got my plaid jacket, some jeans, and some Air Force Ones. Uh, or some Nikes or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know. Not Air Force Ones, but there's my wonderful cousin, man. This boy can cater himself. Lord have mercy. His wife is a tremendous cook. He, she wasn't able to make it, but love you, brother. You're looking good, man. Like a model like appearance. I love you, man. Love you to life, love. Um, Lamont. There it is. With the Hattons, we bless the Lord for you. And, uh, girl, you're wearing that uh, outfit. I love that outfit. Look at uh, Brother Green, Sister Green. 
Uh, y'all have been a huge, huge addition to the church in terms of the work that you guys do. Y'all look great as well. Thank y'all for being there. And uh, here's my young people hanging out with me. Oh, look at them faces. I was like, give me some deuces. Who are you looking, KJ? <laughs> but love them to life. They look so great. Just some of the young people that, that was able to make it. I bless the Lord for them for sure. Look at this outfit here, guys. Shelly, I'm going to get you an outfit like that. But bless the Lord. Y'all look, y'all look great. But it's already 8 o'clock, uh, guys. I'm, I'm, uh, hey, there's, uh, my Sunday school superintendent, uh, brother Randy and his mother, Betty. Thank you all for being there as well. Randy, you look good in black and gold, brother. You, you need to consider being a part of this wonderful tradition of excellence called Alpha Phi Alpha. Um, so brothers and sisters, that's, that, I, I, I'm not going to hold you much longer. Um, but man, to God be the glory for the things he has done. If you're interested in getting copies of these uh, in a 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 please let me know. And we'll be more than willing to make arrangements to get you that. But again, I think I, I didn't get through many of the pictures that were still um, worth, you know, you coming to see and uh, being blessed by them. But um, there's Sister Lloyd, a man from the Amy Zion Church there in Tarboro, who was hanging out with us. I mean, just... Some trem I love this picture of Antoine and Paula. Uh, he was James Bond for real, for real. Um, as he scooped us up. Um, here's my family that came in. Uh, people are going to be jealous of this picture. My family, they, they are beautiful people. Look at those short like Gloria Jean. That's my cousin Shannon's uh, mom. And Leslie and uh, Carla. Oh my God, they, I love them. Thank they, thank God they was able to make it. Here's Artie and um, Jameer. Uh, why is that not? Go oh, there it is. They uh, his his daughters and their their brothers Artie and Jameer. Uh, these are nieces of uh, sister y'all bro, uh, Wanda's uh, sons. Good looking brothers. I mean some good looking men, and uh, we bless the Lord for them. Yep, there's a. Started at the Vine Nine, going crazy over there with the Zetas and the, and the Sigmas. Um, Alpha's in the building. And um, Shirley Paula, God bless you. Thank you for taking pictures. Tay in the building. Uh, we bless the Lord for you. My steward pro tem and my trustee pro tem, husband and wife. But bless the Lord, what leadership they provided St. Mark. And I'm telling you, Brother Milton, I need my shirt back. Um, you know, you was able to borrow it, but I need my shirt back, brother. You looking good, man. Looking good. Look at this tall lady. Yeah, you, you did your thing. We, Y'all look great. Y'all just looked great. Um, here's my presiding elder. Amen. Bless the Lord. He couldn't stay, but bless the Lord uh, very long. But we did get a chance to get a shot of him before he got out of there. What tremendous leadership he's providing. Me and Dallas stole the show. Both of us are adorably cute. And we bless the Lord for her. Um, and then we got a chance to kind of go around and take pictures with people at their tables, having a good time, conversating. Man, it was just an absolute joy to be there. But for this, uh, Nita Harris and her husband, uh, Kevin, there's Ruth Wallace. I told her she looked like a peach. She was beautiful. Oh, bless the Lord. And I gave her a Zerber kiss right on the cheek. All kind of juice flying everywhere. Bless the Lord. There's Brother Jerry. Amen. Love this man. Life. We. This is my Jonathan. Love him. <laughs> and the, and Brother Kevin, we had a great time. Uh, but, man, what a, what a night. Just what a night. Oh, from St. Mark. Uh, my good friend and brother, Brother Nate, just recently lost his wife. We continue to pray for you, brother. And we bless the Lord for who you are. Love that man and his, his brother, his whole family as well. Oh, we just cracking up, just having an absolute blast uh, during the event. Um, I, I'm missing Sister Blackman. I, I, I didn't see a picture of them. But bless the Lord, Sister Ledbetter and the Bowden family. And uh, here's my frat brother and his beautiful wife, uh, Brother Malcolm. 
uh, he said, brother, you the only one that can really get me to wear some red. And But I appreciate you doing it. Now go and throw that red in the trash. <laughs> so we bless the Lord for him and his wife. And we thank God for uh, the work they do as well in the community. It's, it's a blessing. It's my good people. Smile, smile, brother, smile. This is this is so incredible. Oh, man, we just had a great time. Brother Richardson. Sister Brown, Mother Brown, Lord have mercy. God bless you, Mama. You were absolutely stunning and beautiful tonight. Here they are. Sister Arnetta and her daughter. Amen. Sister uh, Cynthia Cummings. Amen. God bless you and thank you for being there as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Look at this. There they are. Oh, Y'all were beautiful. Y'all just glistening in gowns and all of that. That was just great and I just was got to get a chance to kind of run from table to table we just had a great time with somebody I wanted to point out I don't know what I just did oh lord oh wait a minute where was I at give me a second guys I'm just about done oh man this guy is funny oh here we go Yep. So just counting through it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got multiple pictures with them. Oh, that's the one I want to go back one. Here we got uh, Sister Cynthia. We got my Mary Jo, my Usher, Lily Jeffries over our store. That's Sister, Sister Mary. They're the caterers back there. Myrick's Barbecue. Uh, wonderful job. Thank you. Um, Sister Jeffries, you were looking stunning. As always, and we bless the Lord for you. There's um, Sister Mary, looking great. This brother, disrespectful. Just disrespectful, looking better than the pastor. I don't understand. He's supposed to be in my tux feature. But, man, I think we had a picture of our shoes. He was dressed in the night. This is Brother Beverly, Beverly's brother. But, man, these pictures are incredible, guys. Here's Dominique. Uh... Her children, amen, that we were talking about earlier. Y'all are great. Y'all were beautiful, man. And some frat brothers hanging out together with a bunch of red on. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, brothers meeting people, people connecting, getting a chance to tell me their stories. It was really an incredible event. Oh, my God. The hugs, the kisses. Man, I, I thank y'all. I see a few more of y'all just joining hanging out with us. This was really great. Look at Elise trying to get a heat on. Press the Lord. See them pearls, Elise. They look nice. Thank you, Artie. And he's a cook himself. That boy know how to make some fish right there. But everybody eating. Oh, man. It's just what an affair. What an incredible. I'm going to put together a little better slideshow. And I'll be more discriminatory on some of the pictures. But bless the Lord. We had just a good time. And Brother Don, you did a tremendous job just capturing these pictures, these moments. That was so, oh, that's a precious picture right there. That's precious right there. Oh, my God. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Love you to life, sweetie. Look at all these wonderful, beautiful people. Beautiful black people. Go ahead and Elise, you prayed, girl. You did that thing. And, um... Uh, I think she did the scripture and uh, you, Janice, you were incredible. Oh, they look at Shelly got a hand up. What you asking for? More gravy? What you doing, man? Bless the Lord, my beautiful wife. My God, help me, Lord Jesus. Oh man, listen, I gotta go. We gotta get something to eat before I pass out. Um, got a long day tomorrow, um, but we invite you to come on April the twenty eighth to be a part of. It. I don't like, I think it was starting a line dance. Look like. Look at this. <laughs> y'all look great. I'm loving y'all the life. And uh, to God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Amen. I think uh, Shelly was like, look, don't make, don't make me fall. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Look at us coming in. Oh, we had a great time, y'all. Oh, we really did have a great, great time. Yeah. Just trying to. Take it all in. 
My Ian Davis, president of our chapter, he was there. He had to go support his wife uh, later that day. Um, but bless the Lord, thank you for making it. Brother Gant, thank you for being there. I preside now that they're processionally in there. I'm in the last hundred pictures here. Marsha, uh, hey, sweetie. God bless you. Million watt smile. Thank you, woman of God, for being there as well. What a blessing you are. Uh, and there's my committee, folks. There's the head table people. Who is that? Looking so absolutely beautiful. Look at Rashika. Oh, my God. And her son uh, as well. Man. And he, he, oh, look at these folks. These are people signing in. It was just awesome. Really. And he captures these pictures so wonderfully. I know I'm zipping through them, but look at these shoes. I think those are Delia's. Uh, but look at these shoes, bro. Look at these. Look at these. Y'all see them? Tailor me. Tailor me shoes. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, brother Lonnie was there. Hey, Amen. That team, ministerial team. Bless the Lord. Million watt smiles all over the place. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. I got to go. Bless y'all. Love y'all to life. Thank y'all for all that you do. Again, you're interested in getting a copy of this portfolio of uh, pictures, please let me know. And we'll do our level best to let you know when we're going to get that whole book together and uh, share that information with you. But, oh my God, what? I'm just kind of still looking at these pictures. I can't help uh, but look at them. It is an incredible, incredible event. Uh, but love you all in life. Got to go. Take care. Um, come visit us on Sunday. Pastor Yarbrough will be preaching. It's the second Sunday. And we'll be continuing, um, you know, with the appearances of Jesus. I'm running for my life. Amen. As we preached on last Sunday. We bless God for what he's doing. Um, Sister Carolyn Sims, God bless you. And thank you so much as well. I uh, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you guys. We'll see you on um, see you on Sunday. Uh, some of them we'll see you on Saturday as we go and hang out over at uh, Union Hill. To God be the glory for the great things he's done.